Hello everyone. We are going to start chapter 3 and chapter 3 is going to go through the cells, the basic unit of life in living things. Now also in this chapter as the last part of chapter 2 there are many things that I believe they are straightforward and I don't need to go through them. So again I might be skipping some slides but these slides are still on you, they are still part um, of the chapter, they are part of your exam. It doesn't mean that they are less important, they are just uh, pretty straightforward. Okay, let's see the cell uh, doctrine. All living things are composed of cells. A single cell is the smallest unit that exhibit all of the characteristics of life. And all cells come only from pre-existing cells, which means that there is no differences. I mean, there is no cell that would be created from nothing, okay? Except, of course, the first cell in, in life, but that is a different story. For us, all of the cells are coming from mother cells, okay? Now, in... In life, in nature, we can see there are two types of cells, something called prokaryotic cells. These are primary cells. And the primary, it's not that they are, um, you know, uh, number one or essential. It's the primary versus eukaryotic or uh, specialized cells or more complicated cells or complex cells well-developed cells, something like this. So if you want to put it like elementary and advanced cells, I'm fine with that, but the scientific terms are prokaryotic and eukaryotic. So there are several differences between the prokaryotic and the eukaryotic cells. This is a prokaryotic, this is um, eukaryotic cells. cell. Now, in a prokaryotic cell, there is Actually, in both cells, there is a plasma membrane. And the plasma membrane is something that would surround the cell, protecting it from um, its outer, uh, outer environment, from the environment that is living in. Also, in the eukaryotic, there is this outer membrane. That, again, it's a kind of a border that would separate the cell, the internal of the cell, from the external or the extracellular space. However, in the eukaryotic, there is a specialized part or organelle inside it, that is the nucleus. This is the nucleus, and the nucleus will contain the genetic material, the DNA. In the prokaryotic cells, there is, as you can see, there is no nucleus. There is no nucleus, and the DNA is dispersed and like all over the place within the prokaryotic cell. Both would have within this membrane the cytoplasm, which is the fluid within the membrane. Within the membrane. Also here there is, like I draw it in, in yellow, this will be also the cytoplasm. This is the cytoplasm here. So both of them will have cytoplasm. In the prokaryotic, we can't see any other structure inside the cell. We can't see there any other structure inside the cell. But here in the eukaryotic cells, you can see there are other structures. These are called organelles. Organelles. And organelles, these are like subparts of, of the cell. They are developed and specialized to perform certain functions. And we will see some of them. But in the eukaryotic, uh, sorry, in the prokaryotic cells, there is none of these organelles or at least they are not visible. Now, bacteria is usually prokaryotic, but 
for human cells all of all of them are uh, eukaryotic cells human animal plants all of these types of uh, creations uh, uh, all of them are uh, made of eukaryotic cells now and these are the cells the eukaryotic cells these are the cells we are going to focus on we are going to study now the remarkable thing about about these eukaryotic cells that they are similar in terms of uh, uh, the components of these cells so all of these cells as we saw in the previous slide they have the plasma membrane they have the nucleus they have different organelles and these different organelles are found in different of these cells but yet they are diverse they have diff they come in different shapes different sizes and they perform different functions so for example we have muscle cells like these these are specialized cells to produce energy and to move to um, to cause contraction so that's why how we are this is how we are moving also we have nerve cells like these these nerve cells they are specialized to carry impulses and deliver it here in this we have a part of the kidney these are special cells that they are going to filtrate they are going to reabsorb or secrete materials to form urine however all of these cells will have the same basic structure all of them they have nucleus they have plasma membrane they have other types of organelles but as you can see each one of these cells is performing a different function and they are as you can see they are of different shapes different sizes and of course as we said they are performing different functions this is an overall uh, picture of uh, a typical animal cell and the typical animal cell would contain several of these organelles contains the cytosol peroxisome centrolose cyt cytoskeleton smooth endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum golgi apparatus secretory vesicle ribosomes and the plasma membrane and of course the nucleus so all of these are organelles And as we said, organelles are substructures within the cell that they are specialized to perform certain function. Certain function. Like the mitochondria, for example, like here, these mitochondria, they are specially uh, specialized to produce the energy for the cells. The lysosomes, they will digest and damage, uh, digest damaged uh, organelles and uh, cellular debris. So as you can see, each one of these organelles here on this diagram, they briefly describe their function. I will stop here. I will pause here. I need you to go over this slide and over the coming slides about these uh, structures. I might be uh, going over them very quickly, but I need you before watching the coming, the coming video. I want you to go over um, uh, these slides Look. all the way where up to here. Okay, so you will wa you will watch this video as well, and then you will stop and come back to watch my second video.